What's up everybody, David Burns. Hey, I'm really excited and pumped today because I'm gonna show you an experiment. We're gonna do it together on feeding bees in the fall because something is really bizarre going on with my bees right now. I see it every year and a lot of scout bees are looking for anything. And I'll try to show you some examples, but bees are looking around because this is fall. We're about in our third week of fall now, almost. And uh, bees are just, scout bees are flying everywhere. And we haven't had our first hard freeze here in Illinois yet, but we've had, you know, cold nights where bees have been clustering and there's nothing out there. The, all the asters, like goldenrod and all, they've dried up, they're done. There's just, here in Illinois, nothing out there. It's over, right? So bees, it's warm enough for bees to fly. Um, you know, like right now, it's about 70, 72 degrees, sunny, not much wind, perfect day for bees to be out. Scout bees are looking for anything. So our experiment that we're going to do to, together today for fun is I'm going to actually put some sugar water with my additives in it down here in a, in a I don't know, I've got something figured out here I'm going to pour it into with some floaties. And I'm also going to put down um, a big board full of my uh, protein powder that we use to feed bees. And we're going to see, you know, what do bees want the most? Do they want the sugar water this time of the year? Or are they going to go for the protein powder? It'd be a fun experiment. Let's get to work. But before we do, I want to show you this. Now, this area here, let me get my camera where I can show you. This is where I have traditionally fed bees. In fact, about three weeks ago, I fed bees here uh, some older winter bee kind boards that I just wanted to lay out there, give the bees something to eat. Three weeks and it's rained. And I had a bucket over here, as you can see, with a little bit of honey in it. They cleaned that out. Now, three weeks, that's 21 days ago. Now, do you notice what I notice? Why are there bees over here? There is no sign of any food. There hasn't been. We've had rain to just wash those off of any sugar remnant or honey remnants at all. But notice those bees. I have noticed this year after year. And what this is, these are scout bees who know that this is or was a place recently within the last three weeks where there there was stuff here now they're just they're just sweeping back by to see if it's possible that david put something out there so these scout bees are armed and ready for me to feed them but again it's been 21 days since there's been anything out here and so what we're going to do is lay some out here and see what they do <laughs> it's going to be cool and I'll keep track of the time to see you know how long it takes in fact I think I'll set my camera up and we'll just do like I'll make it fast motion but we'll see how crazy it will get in just no time at all now before we start running these little experiments I want to encourage you guys to please subscribe to my channel and giving me a thumbs up helps tremendously right below this video subscribe thumbs up I love you guys, appreciate you so much for uh, following me here on YouTube. I've been on YouTube now for 16 years making beekeeping videos and uh, I appreciate your loyal support. Now let's get back to uh, looking at these bees and feeding them in the fall. And let me show you what I'm gonna use to feed my bees. Now this is the bottom of my queen, one of my queen incubators. Um, I had to tape off, there's some holes in there, so I taped off these holes. And we need to get it kind of level. Ooh, that's not level. Let's see. I don't, I, I get more fluid in there. That's pretty level. Uh, sugar water here, one to one. One to one in the fall is what I use. And so I'm going to fill this up as high as I can with this here jar. All right. It's not really as level as I'd like it to be. That's better. Now we need to put some floaties in there, um, things like this. Do you see how the bees are already like going after it? I know, let me get it down here, there you go. Um, so we'll put some sticks. I do have some pollen powder or protein powder, I should say, mixed in there. Um, this is kind of cool. It gives a, a place for bees to stand and we'll see how long it takes for the bees to actually find it. These little sticks will help bees not drown. I need some bigger sticks though. Let me see, what have I got here? Um, here's a chunk of wood. Uh, lay that here. That way if bees get kind of turned upside down and then try to swim away, uh, they can finally grab a hold of a board or something. 
Here's another piece of tree bark. Uh, so what we're going to do now is go ahead and, in addition to the sugar water there, we're going to put, let me go and put some pollen powder here and see what happens. Alrighty, got some Ultra B protein powder for bees. And let's just dump it in here. Yeah, that's most of it. All right. And let's move it around a little bit. Ooh, yeah. I'm curious, will bees really rather have the protein powder right now? Or would they rather have um, the sugar water? So it's going to take a, a minute for the bees to kind of, uh, scout bees to go back to their hives and say, hey, I found it. Follow me. Here's a waggle dance. You won't believe it. So let's see what happens. I am noticing some unusual uh, activities. If you notice over here against the wall, you'll see, I see more bees uh, hovering right around here. So it's like a waggle dance has already told them the general area. Why are there, they're here, there's nothing there. It's just a big piece of metal and some of them are making their way down there, but that's interesting, isn't it? Do you see how they're drawn over there? So the waggle dance appears to be about three and a half feet off. They're going, <laughs> I don't know why they're going over there. Uh, well, we'll see. They'll figure it out soon enough, but we'll keep, we'll keep watching the pollen and the sugar water. So far, actually, by far, look at that, the pollen powder after just a few minutes is winning. I've seen a few bees fly over the sugar water. See, there's one now flying over the sugar water, getting her little feet. Now she's landed. Okay, she's landed on, yep, there's a couple now that are looking at the water, but there's one that's drinking the sugar water right now. There's another one flying on the sugar water. Uh, let's see if she'll land. Uh, not really. She looks like she's been told there's pollen here. There's one that now they're kind of together. There's okay. There's a few, but by far you can look at the number of bees on the, on the powder. I don't know. We've, we've got, I think more bees on the powder. We've only got a couple of bees. Yeah, we have two bees right now. Uh, drink. We had two bees land on the sugar water, three scout bees drinking the sugar water and they do a little circle. Look at that big circle. She's doing an orientation kind of getting, see this bee take off and do a circle. Uh, and then the circle gets wider. Look at that circle getting wider and wider. And then she goes tell, she'll go tell the, uh, her nest mates where this is. Okay. So that's going to be really beneficial because as soon as they go back, do a waggle dance and tell them, okay, this is where it's at. This is the direction. This is a sample of the sugar water that I just got. There's going to be about, you know, five to 10, up to 20 bees watching that waggle dance. And as soon as they feel like they've got a good idea where it's at, they're going to just take off and come here and then they're going to start coming back and they're probably going to be more waggle dances. You know, you get 10 bees watching a waggle dance and then from one scout bee and then four scout bees show up and you get 10 bees watching four scout bees do a waggle dance. Then you got 40 bees and then it just explodes after that. But by far, I think you can try to get both. There you go. So by far though, we got more bees in the, in the protein powder for sure. Yeah, and look, they hover above it. I've done a lot of work over here with protein like this over the years. I've made a lot of videos. This is not my first time. And in fact, this is a similar scene on live stream that we use uh, to show get our live stream started and finished up. But these bees hover above the powder to fluff it up and to get it airborne. Small particles collect on their pollen basket on their hind leg and that's why they don't really land on it they just want to collect it and you'll see them flying over it and we'll get some more close-up shots when they get when more bees get here
Yeah, I wanted to kind of get close up here and show you these bees that are feeding. It's, it's remarkable. You can kind of watch the bees as they are just, there they are, right? Taking the food in. Ooh, got a lot of them on my hair. Dang. When you, if you hold your hand down here like this, they, they're not mad, they don't get angry. They're not gonna sting you, but they land on you because they need to clean themselves up a little bit before they fly. I mean, that's what they're doing. You need to shake them off. But over here is a protein powder. Look at that, flying around here. Let me get my camera just right. Isn't that cool? To give you a perspective on the time, it has been exactly one hour. One hour right now. Well, just a couple of thoughts on open feeding like this. Uh, you guys have told me that in some states it's not legal. Like I think somebody said in Tennessee, you can't open feed. A lot of people uh, have these kind of um, rules because they're fearful that there could be spread of diseases. Um, you might have some bees from some colonies that could have spores or something contagious on their proboscis, their legs or something, might get into the sugar water. Um, they're not stinging me, they're just landing on me. But um, I don't have any diseases in my colonies here on my property. And it's not illegal to feed bees in Illinois in the open like this. And so I do it because it's an easy way to get a lot of food into bees pretty quickly. And it's a lot of way, it's easy to get bees in your hair pretty quickly too. But this is something that I do every fall. It works out pretty good for me. Well, I hope this video was helpful for you and I'd love for you to watch my October tips. This is the time of the month, time of the year when we really have to be on guard about getting our bees ready for winter. Take a look at this video right here, eight tips for October. See you guys over there.